What's going on, Five Star Fam? AJ here with you for an Atlanta United daily news update. A couple of uh, bad things, but a good thing first. And that good thing first is that Mikey Ambrose, Brandon Vasquez, and Kevin Kratz have trained with the first team today. That's very, very good news because we need this depth. Uh, we need an extra forward. We need that midfield depth. And we need Mikey Ambrose at left back. And uh, so it's good to see these guys because they will be big for that depth in the season ahead. Now on to the bad news. It came out today that Tito Vijalba was injured against New York Red Bulls on Sunday. Now it could have been that foul from Kamar Lawrence or it could have been a non-contact injury. The extent of that is not known yet. It is known that Frank de Boer lists him as day-to-day -day and very unlikely to play against Real Salt Lake. Now, what does that mean for the lineup on Friday? It could mean the likes of a Dion Pereira or a Justin Miram come in. DeBoer also mentioned that a Pereira was very, very close and has played well when he's come off the bench. Now, it also could mean that Andrew Carlton makes the 18 as well. Now, uh, all of those guys uh, you know, are very much needed for absolutely all the depth that we need because of all these run of fixtures but of course there was also the other bit of news with Tito Vijalba with the transfer rumor that came out from Hernan Castillo and TNT Sports LA pretty much mentioning that Tito Vijalba was willing to move away from Atlanta United and was interested in moving back to San Lorenzo now there's a lot of logistics that don't work in this deal because San Lorenzo, they really don't have a ton of money right now. Wages wise, they wouldn't probably be able to afford a Tito Vijalba. And also, I mean, in terms of uh, transfer fee for us, Atlanta United probably would command probably, uh, they would need at least about five million to break even and probably 10 million to really get what we want for a Tito Vijalba. Now, what's the incentive for this type of move? Maybe it's some posturing and uh, some maybe agents speak as well to maybe get some more money for Tito Vijalba or a move because he has not really been playing a ton except for recently. And of course, when Ezekiel Barco went away, then of course, you know, there's more guaranteed playing time for him. But, you know, this is someone that is a crucial cog in this team and we want him to stay as long as possible, I think. Uh, he provides uh, a lot going forward for us and provides a different dynamic that inside the team we don't currently have besides him. So what do you guys think? Do you put a lot of credence into this rumor? What do you think of the, his injury? Could it impact his chances for Paraguay and Copa America? If it's longer than the day-to-day -day diagnosis, what could it become? and hopefully it's not that much longer. But guys, thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe, like, and share, and we'll see you in the next video.